Demonstrators recruiting people to show up to protest. Whatever the verdict is Thursday in the trial of police van driver Caesar Goodson. People have to be here to respond to it if this killer cop walks or gets off with a slap on the wrist. The Maryland National Guard added civil unrest training to its duties last year after being called to help restore order following the police in custody death of Freddie Gray. The governor's office says the state is ready to do it again. What we're doing is we put out a notification for the commanders to notify their people that they, they may be called up. The notice reads in part, as a precaution, the adjutant general wants to ensure all members of the Maryland National Guard are informed of significant upcoming dates surrounding the trials of Baltimore City Police Department officers charged in the arrest and death of Freddie Gray. A verdict in the trial of Officer Caesar Goodson is scheduled to be released at 10 o'clock Thursday. The city sheriff's office responded in sufficient numbers to unruly protests after the trial of Officer William Porter ended in a hung jury. They declined to discuss specifics, but confirmed they remain ready and have met with city police and neighboring law enforcement to coordinate a response if necessary. The city police department have resources already in place. We have expectations of protest. We don't know how extensive. Protesters will be allowed to express their opinions. We are not going to allow criminal activity, according to city police. As NWCP, we protest and do things when it's necessary. But in this case, I don't want to see anyone get locked up, and I don't want to see any harm come to any uh, person or to any property in Baltimore City. We've had enough of that. That was 11 News reporter David Collins reporting. Now the Maryland